Okay, this is something I just added on to my uh, fold-up table, and this actually will sit right on top of this when it's folded up, so that I put it away. But you know, I needed to clear this area a little bit. And what was happening was, is I was getting all this stuff that's up here down here. Then if I got something big on here, I, I, you know, I, I just ran out of space. So. This shelf has just been great, even though I have shelves down here, uh, well, you can't see that right now, but they're all full of different things, and, and uh, having, you know, the problem with um, having um, these, this real, these real nice hand tools is that um, I would use these cheap chisels that I got because I would have to go in the cabinet to get these out of a box that they were in. So I built these uh, uh, little wood things to hold these chisels and uh, now I use them all the time. I use these and I have different angles for different ones and, and these are new ones that Woodcraft has that has an angle to it. I love these for like, in fact, I, I didn't make them as steep of an angle or as shallow as an angle so that uh, I can use them a lot for getting glue out and that sort of thing because the handle isn't going to lay against the bottom. So those are very handy. Um, you use a bunch of scrap wood to, uh, to make these. In fact, this one here. Uh, for the big ones, I, I, I put another kind of wood in between, so it looks pretty cool. Um, but anyway, and um, this shelf here just comes off real easy with, on both sides, I have two uh, handles that you unscrew. I have these two up here because what I did was, is I made a, uh, and I know you can't see me, but I think you can see that, yeah. Um, I made these, so they go up on top and um, th they go upside down or no they go like this and what happens is they're very strong and and uh, they they sit in these and I have those uh, third hand devices so when this sits out third hand device will lift this up if I want it up and out of the way so I can uh, maybe I've got something taller that I've got to glue up and I want to get the clamps over and I don't have enough height here now I also made this so that I can lower and raise it, but I kind of like it, the height it is. In fact, I, I could even uh, make this so it was longer if I wanted to go higher, but for right now it, it uh, works pretty good. Anyway, so I made one of those for each end, and uh, like I said, I use the third hand, and I can lift this side, and I go that side, and I can get, them up, get this thing up and out of the way, and s leave all my stuff on it, and still actually use it. So uh, that's mostly for clamps because there's many times when I'm making something. Oh, this is something I added too. I'll, I'll uh, uh, bring this closer, but I, I went ahead and bought from Peachtree these uh, uh, their heavy duty uh, T slots, kind of like the ones that are on the Craig uh, uh, units where you can put three eighths in these. And now I can put uh, uh, clamps. You know, like here's a 3 8 clamp. I can uh, put clamps in here. And I, um, what I did is I put a board underneath so it doesn't change anything for this because it's just a three quarter board under this for support of, of the, uh, the uh, track. And um, now I, now, you know, I have clamping so it's like I got a vise all over the place. Um, I can use the, the Craig clamps, I can use those kind of clamps, um, and I put two of them, one in the front, so they're about a third, a third of the way, and like I said, there's a, there's a uh, three-quarter piece about four or five inches wide glued to the bottom of this, and uh, that gives me the support I need, and I actually can put a lot on this, and it doesn't bend anything, so... Um, that has been very helpful and I can even, um, there's some uh, bench dogs that I made that I can actually put in there and clamp them down to where they stay or they hold a board where I can, you know, maybe plane it or something like that. So uh, these are little things that I've done in between. I do these things in between projects again like I've said before because 
Otherwise, they never get done, and it breaks the monotony of a project and makes me think about things before I just move too quick. And and because uh, most of the projects I make, I kind of dream up as I go. And like this bed I'm making my daughter, she's got her specifications on how high it's got to be and everything, so it's not a normal bed, so to speak. And then now I have to put it together to what she wants, and, and so I kind of do a little drawing and uh, and go from there. I do use a program uh, called Sketchlist 3D um, to sketch up cabinets and like the bed, I actually used it for the bed. Uh, it's got an optimizer, it's just so easy to change sizes of things and all of that and uh, and it's way easier than um, uh, what's a sketch, the Google sketch one that um, is just takes a lot more time to learn. This takes much less time to learn. And uh, because it's basically for building things out of wood. It has wood grains and things like that. So um, you might check that out. It's called Sketchlist uh, 3D. And I don't know, Google it and you can get to it. And uh, I just finished a set of plans on this table. Uh, in that, and I'm going to try to make those available. So, anyway, thanks.